right. <laughs> Is my sound working? Sorry, I've not used this yet. Bear with me. Hi. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Sorry I've not been in touch much. I've been writing this email for days. Weeks, maybe. Time doesn't feel real at the moment. Well, people don't feel real at the moment. I can't picture your face unpixelated or hear your voice without delay. Oh, I must be the same for you. Bloody. Like, like old photos of your gran at the beach. Speckles of sand still dotting the surface. When I started writing this, it was morning and now... It's not. <laughs> Afternoon comes hard and fast, without warning. And before long, I'll be back in bed, head full of thoughts and an inbox full of drafts. Thinking that tomorrow will be the day I start hitting send. Tomorrow, 9am, fully dressed, I'll be at uni. I'm not exactly how I pictured my final year, but it's class. Like, camera on. Mic off, sitting, half spying on everyone else's bedrooms, half looking at my £200 ASOS cart, trying to decide if this is where furlough money is best spent. This is where furlough money is best spent. I have to say though, this online class situation isn't all good. Like, when you're giving your final presentation and your wee sister walks in, towel on, cup in hand, asking if you've seen her hair dryer. The panicked look, the quiet stare, the embarrassed fumble out of the room. I guess she's found her hair dryer. I scream over the sound, trying to be heard, trying to communicate with the guy with the weird bookcase decorations and the woman made up of about 10 pixels. My internet wasn't cut out for this. <laughs> Doesn't know what's hit it. They're saying it's going to be like this till June, but I'm just crossing my fingers that it all blows over. Anyway, I better start writing this email. So sorry for getting back to you so late. Sorry for patching you so busy today. Sorry for the late reply. I'll try to get it done this week. Hi, sorry I've only just seen this. I don't think my emails are working properly. Hey, sorry I haven't replied yet. I saw your email a week ago and the thought of replying to it filled me with existential dread. So I decided to put it off till tomorrow. And then tomorrow came and I thought about it. But honestly, I couldn't even get out of bed till three in the afternoon. And now a week has passed and I'm going to have to make up some lie about not answering when in reality, I don't have it in me to write one single coherent sentence. Never mind a competent email that might convince you to hire me. Kind regards. A very tired, very unemployed, almost graduate. I've officially graduated into full-time pointlessness, except now I have a degree, which is somewhere in the postal system hopefully making its way to me. The uh, ceremony was the first time I'd seen the entire class of 2020. 200 disenchanted faces, well, apart from that one guy who had bought a cap and gown from Amazon. We get it, mate. You got a first. Fuck all difference it'll make. I was the first in my family to go to uni. My mum made my bed for me coming home and beaming with pride at the door, like standing with flowers and hand sanitizer. I thought the whole way home about whether I could hug her or not. I thought if I could use her loo then I'm probably good. I've drafted this about 20 times. I don't know why I'm finding it so difficult to cult to write an email. I downloaded Tinder again. I know. I started chatting to this boy I know from school. I could still see that silly wee boy face somewhere in that stranger's body. <laughs> Time's weird like that, eh? Start wondering how he sees me. Like, after all this time, do I, do I seem different or do I look exactly the same? Start stalking my own Instagram. Like, trying to detach any subjectivity, see myself as a stranger, what would I think of me? which is probably the vainest and most sociopathic move yet. So I go back to swiping. I've spent days in front of a window to the world. Fingers on the keys like a P 
pianist who's forgotten how to play, crackled voices and awkward silence and beautiful discord. I've been applying to jobs and getting rejection letters like nobody's hiding for some reason. I'm doing three quizzes a week and I have not come first once. Four years at uni have clearly gone to waste. Living life like I'm trying to get a high score on my screen time. I found myself in more communication, more conversation, overstimulation, keyboard worn to the bone as my brain takes in more information than it's ever had to process before. Every ping and ding and whisper and roar falls like a hammer on a wood floor and uh, forming a sentence is an impossible chore. Days become nights and nights become sleepless. My inbox is full to bursting and my head's gonna follow soon after. I, I feel like the days are passing slower, not faster. There there's no escaping the reality of it all. Injustice being laid bare. Uh, uh, my timeline is full of folks screaming and shouting, trying to get someone to care, when all I'm trying to do is write one bloody email. <laughs> Lifting my fingers. Dead weights. Shutting everything else off. Windows closed. Blinds drawn. One step at a time. One thought, then the next. I also made some TikToks, one of which got 10,000 likes, so if all this goes to shit, at least I've got my fame. <laughs>